Hello, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the bubble effect using Scratch 3.0. But before we get started, remember to like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let's get on with the video. So first we're going to start off by going to Events, then Green Flag Clicked, Looks, Go Forward One Layer, Hide, Control, forever, wait one second, and then create clone of myself. So next we're going to start off by going to control, when I start as a clone, looks, show, set ghost effect to, So next we're going to be selecting set size to 100%. We're going to go into operators and dragging pick random 1 to 10 into the 100. First block we're going to be writing 20 and in the second block we'll be writing 100. First we're going to, so next we're going to go to looks and going to be selecting set ghost effect to and then we're going to be going to operators, pick random 1 to 10. In the first block we're going to be writing 70. And the second one 102. So next we'll be going to motion, selecting go to X, Y. And then we'll be going to type in the first block 600. And the second block will be going to be going to operators, pick random 1 to 10 and dragging that into the second block. In the first block of the operator we're going to be writing a minus 167 and in the second block 167. Next we're going to be going to motion again, selecting glide 1 second to X, Y, and in the first block we're going to be going to operators and dragging pick random 1 to 10. In the first block of the operator we're going to be writing 2, and in the second one 6. Next we're going to be writing in here minus 300, and in the second block we're going to have to pick random 1 to 10 operator and dragging it in there and in the first block of the operator we're going to be writing minus 167 and 177 so next we're going to be going to control repeat 10 times and we're going to be changing it to 20 Next we'll be going to looks, change ghost effect by 20 and then we'll be going to control again, delete this clone. 